Hi guys, uh, today I will be reviewing the e.l.f. products that I bought online at their website which I will link below. I've heard a lot of things before that e.l.f. were a bit crap. Um, they're really, really, really cheap. Every item in their main range is £1.50 and then the most expensive range is £3.50. So you can't really waste a lot of money, if you know what I mean. Like, if a product is really bad, then it's only cost you £1.50, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I bought five products about, about, I think it was last Monday, that I bought them, and they arrived by Thursday. They were here on Thursday when I came home. So we went to pick them up. And I was really impressed about how quickly it arrived. My potion packaging is 250, I think. So it's not bad. Even if you're buying one item, that's only four pounds. Um, so I was really impressed by that. And just the whole website is really easy to use. It everything's like located into lips, eyes, whatever, blah blah. Um, so I got a a range, but I only got from one pound fifty. I only got the one pound fifty things. So I will try out the other ones later, maybe when I have more money. <laughs> um, so yeah, this was just my review of what I got. Okay, starting with oh, okay, let's start with my nails. I bought this one's really rubbish. Just ignore it. <laughs> it's smudged. I bought the matte nail finisher. Now, when I open the packet, the colour really concerned me because I don't know if you can see it's really, really cloudy. And I've never used a matte nail finisher before, so I don't know what to think. I thought, oh, has it gone off or just anything like that. And it comes in quite a professional looking box, I think. Um, and what it says on it, it says, instantly transform your shiny nail, pol nail polish to match with this translucent chop coat. And I'm really impressed by it. Um, I think because I use not a great nail varnish underneath, I just used a, um, an old barium black nail varnish, which is kind of sticky and not nice. The nail varnish underneath isn't very good, but the actual nail finish is really good. Um, it dries so quickly too. It dries in about 30 seconds, I would say. So it's not like other ones that are all tacky and you'll smudge your nails or whatever. Even though I have. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the nail varnish. Going on to my face, I bought the Elf All Over Cover Stick in Golden Pe um, Warm Peach, um, and the packaging just came like that. That's what it says. Um, and it's just supposed to be for your eyes, your lips, and your face. Conveniently, Elf. This one I wasn't so impressed with. I thought it was going to be a real bronze. Like, that's the colour. It's not very w like what it is online. And I suppose because I've got quite fair skin at the moment, because from the winter, it doesn't really show up on my face. I'm like, I'll just show you on my hand. And it's. Can you see it? Not really. Oh, there's a little bit of shimmer showing up, but it's really not good for pale skin. It's not if you want to have a bronzer, don't get this. But if you have tan skin or you're going on a holiday, take this and it'll be a really nice highlight for your for your cheeks. But other than that, I probably won't wear this again. I'd probably just get a bronzer. Or I would buy this but they have other colours. I'd probably get it in another colour. Because the pigmentation's quite good. It's just I got the wrong colour. So that's those two done. I I don't usually wear bright no, bright eye colours, so I thought I will try something new. And the only big thing about e.l.f. that I didn't like was they don't do single eyeshadows. You can't just buy one eyeshadow. They have duos, triples, and I got um, a quad. And this is their brightening eye colour, and this is in Punk Funk. So you get a white, a royal blue, um, sort of a, a real vibrant purple and a bright hot pink and the hot pink has got lots and lots and lots of shimmer in it and oh and you get sort of the activity thing which I won't use for £1.50 
when you're getting four eyeshadows for one pound fifty, that's pretty impressive. So I'll show you the pigmentation. So there's the white. So it's an okay white, I suppose, with a highlight. The blue is amazing. Look at the pigmentation on that. The purple and the pink. So they're really, really bright colours to use. I haven't tried them out on any looks yet because I haven't had time. I haven't need um I literally opened that this morning. So I will try some looks out and maybe post a look about that. I'm really impressed by that. It's one pound fifty. I just can't get over it. it's one pound fifty really. <laughs> um I might try some others out. That was the most vibrant one they had on there. Others were sort of in the same colour range. So lips. My favourite of the lip products that I got was this, which is the Hyper Shine Gloss. Um, I got this in Vixen, and it is a really nice colour. It's one of the twisty ones, and it's got like a brush rather than an applicator, and it's pretty, pretty good. The colour is quite sheer, but there is enough colour there to make a difference to your lips. My only fault is the um, the fluid is seeping out of my brush, so it can get a bit sticky. But yeah, I like that. When the, on the day I don't want to wear bright red lipstick, you can just wear that or just for an extra sheen. Now, going on to bright red lipstick, they don't have a, a red lipstick in their range, which is another thing that I, was, I wanted to try out because I buy a lot of red lipstick. <laughs> I don't know why I have so many. So I went to the nearest one. And this is um, their Luscious Liquid Lipstick in Ruby Slipper. And I'm really unimpressed. Really, really unimpressed. Because I thought it was going to be really bright red on the website. It's red. It's got Ruby in the name. And it's come and it's sort of this sort of dull, damsony, plum colour isn't really exciting and not only that but the colour payoff is rubbish sorry the family came back um <laughs> so yeah this is really unimpressive the colour payoff is really bad um i thought it, i mean look it's hardly any different this is the lip gloss this is the lipstick there's no difference to it whatsoever so in conclusion, the products that I would buy again would be the lip gloss, the eyeshadow, and the nail varnish. Um, but I wouldn't go for their um, bronzer, face stick, or the um, the lipstick again. Purely because the payoff is really rubbish. So yeah, thanks guys. I will link the website. Um, in the box below and I will also write up a review for my blog which I will also link below and I will see you soon. Bye!